Hello and welcome. I'm Ben from Digi Technical Support and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure your Digi Accelerated Linux router as an open VPN server. For this demo I'm using the iX20 router with firmware version 22.2.9.85. The first step is to create a new open VPN firewall zone so we can filter traffic to or from the open VPN clients that connect. To do this go into firewall zones scroll down where it says add type in open vpn and click on the plus leave source nat disabled now scroll up go into vpn open vpn servers and add a new open vpn server On this configuration page, the defaults will mostly be sufficient. You only need to amend or set the items highlighted in red. The zone is the one we created previously, called OpenVPN. The address field is the IP address and mask that will be assigned to the OpenVPN server interface. Enter here an IP address from a network range that is not currently in use. The first and last IP addresses are used to create the pool of addresses to assign to clients that connect. The default settings are OK. OpenVPN server listens by default on UDP port 1194. If you want or need your OpenVPN server to listen on a different port number, enter it here. For this demo, I'll be using server managed certificates and keys. However, if you have company managed certificates and keys and you prefer to use those, you can paste them into the boxes below. They must be in PEM, PEM format, when you paste them. A firewall zone needs to be added to the access control list to ensure that the OpenVPN server only runs on the specified interface. Add in the zone and set this to external. In the advanced options you can add extra parameters. These are described on the openvpn.net how-to guides. A useful one that we'll be adding is to push a route to the VPN clients so they can route to the internal network. In this lab network, the internal network on the LAN interface is on the network 192.168.20/24. The next task is to move back into the firewall and add in a packet filter. This rule will allow traffic from the OpenVPN client through to the internal network. The source zone will be the open VPN zone that we configured earlier and the destination zone will be internal. Be aware of the rule order. If you have more rules configured than shown here then you may need to move the open VPN rule to be above other rules to allow the traffic. You can reorder rules by dragging them. The final part of the configuration is to configure users that are allowed to be able to establish a VPN into this router. First, check the users that are configured by going into Authentication, Users. We can see here there are two users configured, the admin user and myself. If I look at my user configuration, you can see here that I'm in the admin group and the serial group. The configuration that needs to be altered is within the admin group configuration. OpenVPN access needs to be enabled and the OpenVPN server that we configured earlier needs to be selected here. The VPN server configuration is now complete, so click on the apply button. The client configuration file is generated by the iX20 or any other Digi Accelerated Linux router and can be downloaded by navigating to Status, OpenVPN, Servers. Click on the link 
to download the client configuration file. It will appear at the bottom of the screen once it's downloaded. Open the file using a plain text editor. There's a change that we need to make. You can see here that the server address needs to be added into the configuration. This is the WAN interface or outside IP address of the iX20. It must be a public IP address. In this lab, the IP address is private. As you can see at the top of the screen in the web browser, it is 192.168.0.11. So I'm going to add that in here and then save the file. You can transfer this file over to your OpenVPN client and import the profile. I've sent this file over to my Android phone using Bluetooth and imported it as an OpenVPN profile. I've checked the settings on the OpenVPN client and added in my username and password. These are the credentials that I would normally use to log into the router web interface. I've clicked the connect button on my phone and it says the VPN is established. I can check the VPN status by going back onto the router web interface and pressing F5. This will refresh the page. On this page we can see that my phone is using the IP address 192.168.0.38 from its Wi-Fi interface and that's connecting through my network back through to 192.168.0.11 which is the WAN Ethernet interface on the iX20 and the IP address assigned to the OpenVPN client from the pool of addresses that were configured earlier is 192.168.22.82. We can see there that the signed in user is myself. Ben Gartland. That's the end of the demo. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.